Hey, it's John Draft. I'm in front of 59 West Schiller right now. We're gonna go walk through the property. This is on the market for about 1.6. It was just on for about 1.8. It was all pre-pandemic. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens. This is a foreclosure. It's been on the market. It's actually right across from where we live. We're right across the street here. Go ahead and show them that. We have Dearborn right this way. So we're right in the Gold Coast, about two blocks from the lake. This is a great stretch. This is 1400 North Clark, so you're right in the middle of it all between Division and North Avenue. Let's check it out. Come on in. So you have your garage right through here, right in the entrance. And it's kind of kind of like a tandem garage, so this is huge. I mean, we can go all the way through here, I'm all the way at the end. Enormous storage here. Personally, I think mm -hmm. I'd rather have this space inside the house because you notice there's a driveway out front, so you can have a car there. Almost tripped and fell in myself. Okay, let's go backwards. So you have this long corridor here. Some of the lights work, some of them don't. Uh, that's a foreclosure, that is what it is. So right here, we have the laundry room. So think about this. You're spending 1.6 on a house. You're going to spend, I don't know, a million dollars renovating this place. You'll see when we get upstairs. Or let's just say it's half a million. And you're going to have to bring all your laundry all the way down the stairs. So not really ideal. There's going to have to be laundry added to another level of the house to really bring this up to today's standards and modernity. Uh, this is a nice, bright, open room. We're facing south right now. We have this beautiful courtyard. I really like this. A lot of people put their own pairs here. Um, or any help that they have living with them, or it's just a playroom for children, which is a really great uh, space for that. There's a bathroom right off here, full bath. And it's a little tight as you can see, they put the rubber stoppers right here, and they've done these little things to make sure that there isn't any friction, but uh, the shower works. I can make this work, definitely no space. If you can smell right now, these smells are unreal because this place has been sitting, all the plumbing's turned off, it's been winterized, so it's, it's a little funky in here. Want to see how funky? You want to get real gross with this? That one's not bad. We're going to find one gross toilet, and it's going to gross you out, but you're going to learn what it's like to be in this business. And this is real. We, uh, I've been through this house once before, but it was real quick, and it was like a week or two weeks ago, something like that. So. We're going to do this all on the fly. Let's do it. So, the thing about townhomes is you always have a limited amount of width. You're sharing your exterior walls with your neighbor. So, in some other neighborhoods, these are basically considered starter homes. Down here at 1.6, we are nowhere near a starter home, but you can get something similar in square footage like this in Lincoln Park for about 650, maybe 750, and that was all pre-pandemic season. So here, talk about width. We're at 17.1. So 17.1 for a single family, it's a little shy. Your average lot is 25 feet. You're going to have two and a half feet on each side for your sidewalks. And then you're going to have all the walls inside. So you're staying in a single family home, you're a little wider than this. This is a nice room. On ceiling height, we're working with 11.5. So that's pretty great. 11.5, this feels nice and grand. Really big windows right through here. And it's looking right out on show. Uh, in the building we live in, they just replaced the windows last year. So they look pretty good. They're all dark. They offer a lot of privacy during the day, but I think you have a nice view looking out here on Schiller. You also notice that they have the vintage mirrors on each side. So if you look here or here, these have all uh, been made to look like that. They look to look, they've been made to look old. And this awesome fireplace too. So this is a wood burning gas start fireplace. Now, this is really funny. So, looking at this, you would think this mantle is original. And this is marble that's like 100, 200 years old, something like that. This is some cheap, I don't know what this is. This isn't real. <laughs> I 
I've actually never seen this on a fireplace. Yeah, come look at this. Look at this. So this is like painted on or some type of laminate or I don't know what this is, but it really disguises well. But this is this is a terrible decision. I don't know why you would do this. This is this isn't real. Okay, let's move on. You have Brazilian cherry forest here. This the stain is actually not bad. This is coming back. They didn't do those really dark red hues that you saw back when. But I can tell just just from what it is. Uh, your Brazilian cherry right here. And it looks like we have no lights in here. But once upon a time, this was an awesome kitchen, right? I think I went to friends' houses when I was growing up that had a look like this. We've got something right here. Someone's. Okay, we've got lights back here. And uh, this was great. This is like an, an offshoot of Verde Butterfly Granite. This was super popular uh, in like 2008 to 2002, 2008, around there. And same with these Brazilian cherry floors. And that's where you're really getting the motif for this whole property. So I can already tell there's that same cheap stuff on this fireplace. I just, I know I keep talking about it, but I've never seen this. This is so stupid. And it really takes away from the whole luster of the house. I mean, you want rich pieces of marble here to set it off. We're at a hundred plus year old structure. I think so, I think so, in the Gold Coast. And you don't have real things. So there's once upon a time a TV here. None of the appliances were taken, that's good. We have a Sub-Zero fridge. This is a Whirlpool, hopefully, uh, yeah, electric. And then you have gas right here too. And then we have some type of little oven here, a little tiny oven. And ASCO dishwasher. And pretty standard and straightforward from what you see. So there are stairs right here that go down to where we came. So that leads right back to that weird room over there. And then check this out. Because every kitchen is a complete uh, powder room, right? Because that's what you want to do here. You're in your kitchen doing your thing and you want to use the bathroom. Okay, we got a, a somewhat funky toilet. Someone used this one probably and then couldn't flush it. So here's one of our toilets. Uh -huh. Very good, right? Very attractive. I know that's what you want to see, but check this out. This is really what's going on. I'll take over from here. Hold on. So, you have this gilded wallpaper on the wall. Kind of classic mirror here. And floating vanity. And they're hiding everything with this box below here. Okay, job. But you're going to redo all this anyway. Let's go upstairs. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I have an earpiece in there. And I think these are the worst things ever, but they work fantastically. They work very well. Uh, shout out to Ryan Servet for getting me this. He worked at this company and sent me one. It was really cool. They're the greatest things, but I think they look terrible. But I decided to use it for this video. Because one, they have the best sound quality, and we're going on Bluetooth right now from the phone. And, I mean, doesn't it just kind of add to the whole douchey agent experience? So, I thought it was funny. So I'll leave it on. Uh, none of these lights work. Let's see. Do you have your phone? No. We are not working well with the. Oh, we got, we got a. Awesome. We got a flash here. Got a light. Cool. So check this out. This is in the middle of the hallway. It's this kind of man cave ish, all mahogany walls. No lights in here. Uh, now this, this is a real fireplace. This is what it should be. This is real stone. You can see, I don't know if you can see the flex reflecting off. This is what it is. This is just concrete, even. This would have been better than the gardens they have downstairs. But it's funny, I'm looking at these panels. So these panels aren't mahogany. This is like cheap pine with a painted on pattern. Oh my God, this is so funny. This is like nouveau rich uh, design aesthetics. And they have the original stuff on the door. So if we had lights, this would just look crazy. It would look so off. It would be so poor taste. Uh, of course, you have a wet bar right here in the middle of the hallway. We are on the bedroom level. So if you had kids, this is most likely where they'd be. And I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure I remember that the 